Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 32. Explain the main aspects of the resonance with respect to CO3 minus 2. Let's explain this. So let's start with this. So I have carbon, 4 electrons, oxygen, 6 into 3 plus 2 negative charge. Total I have 24 electrons, balance electrons. So let's draw a carbon and let's draw 3 oxygen here. So I start with 24. There are 3 bonds, minus 6 in bonds, I get 18. Let's make this carbon happy. Carbon had 1, 2, 3, 6. I give 2 electrons. Carbon is happy now. I have 16. 16 electrons I have, I have each oxygen that needs 6 electrons. That means I need 60 to 3, 18 electrons, but I have only 16 electrons, right? Means That means there is a deficiency, so I will do a double bond. So let's do a double bond here. Let's start from fresh. Let's do a double bond here. Let's start from fresh. 24, there are 4 bonds, 8 electrons gone in bonds. We are left with 16. Let Carbon is already happy, 8 electrons, let make, make this oxygen happy, this has eight like 4 electrons, it needs 4 more, 12 electrons, 12 electrons we have, each carbon if we give 6 electrons, both will be happy, right, so we have this structure, minus 2 charge we can get, so this oxygen, how much charge, this will be, 6 is a valence electron, minus 6 electrons it has now, minus 1 bond, minus 1 charge. This carbon has 4 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 charge. This oxygen has 6 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, minus 1. Again, 6 minus 6 minus 1, minus 1 charge. That is the charge, minus 2 charge. But if you see, we could also create the structure in this fashion, right? Or in this fashion. That means there is a resonance here. Correct, there is resonance here or CO3 minus 2. Correct, so actual structure we can say is something like this. There is a resonance like this. I will give it two charge. The question is as 3PO3 can be represented with this two structure, can these two structures be taken as canonical form for the resonance? Let's see. I don't think so because if you see here I have two OH. Here I have only one OH. Because the position of atom has been changed, right? The, the position of item, atom has changed. So we can't say that it is a resonance. It is not a resonance. Because it is OH, OH here, it is OH, it is O, it is H. The position has changed. You write the resonance structure for SO3, NO2 and NO3 minus. See for S, O3 we get something like this. Or we can get something like this. O double one here. Or we can get something like this. Any of this is true. Correct. For NO2, I can have double bond with this oxygen or I can have double bond with this oxygen. For NO3 minus, I will have one double bond either with this oxygen or this oxygen or this oxygen. Correct. So we have to use the Lewis symbols to show the transfer of electrons between the following cations and ions. So let's take the first one, potassium and sulfur. Potassium has one valence electron and sulfur has six. So potassium will be eager to give one electron to sulfur to make it uh, 
to obtain the stable configuration and sulfur will be eager to take one electron. So in this case, I'll have potassium as plus charge. Sulfur will get two negative charge because sulfur will take two electrons from two potassium. This will be the structure. If you talk about calcium and oxygen, calcium has two extra electron, oxygen has six in the valence electron. So calcium will be eager to give these two electrons to oxygen. So it will become calcium 2 plus and oxygen 2 minus. Correct. Let's talk about aluminium and nitrogen. Aluminium has three electrons in the valence cell. Nitrogen has five. So aluminium gives all this electron to nitrogen, both will become stable. So aluminium will become Al three plus and three minus, and nitrogen will become three plus actually. Nitrogen will gain uh, three electron, it will get eight electron. Will become three minus, and both are happy, and they'll form a ion. The question says all those all those CO two and H two O are triatomic molecules. In the shape of H two O is bond, CO two is ligand, and we explain this based on the dipole moment. Using Vesper also we can explain using dipole also we we'll explain. We'll explain using both. You take carbon, this is the shape CO2. There is no uh, electron here in the valence cell, and the net dipole is zero. It is linear. You take H2O, so we have two valence, uh, two lone pair here, hydrogen we have, hydrogen we have. The net dipole for this is here, and there is a dipole. It has some value x, which is positive, right? And thus, it is. If you see, it is bent, and this is straight. Using Vesper, also we can explain. Using Vesper, if you see, this is uh, a case. This is a case for uh, two lone pair plus two bond pair. So that means it is bent. What is the significance and application of dipole moment? So, in heteronuclear molecule, actually, when we have this uh, dipole moment, the polarization comes due to difference in electronegativity of the atoms, right? So, because this one molecule, one atom acquires positive charge, other becomes negative, and thus the molecule is said to be dipole. For example, you have seen this HF also, this gets negative charge, this gets positive charge, right? So, it's a dipole here. And the product of magnitude of this charge and the distance between the uh, center of positive and negative charge is called dipole moment of the molecule. It is a vector quantity represented by arrow with the tail pointing to positive and the head pointing towards negative. For example, in this case, I'll have something like this. This will be my tail, this will be my head, head towards negative. Correct. And this is generally the majority of polarity of bond. It is helpful in collect, calculating the percentage of ionic character in a covalent bond or in a molecule. Correct. It is generally helpful in finding the ionic character in a molecule. What is electronegativity and how it is different from electron gain enthalpy? So as you have seen, electronegativity is nothing but ability of atom in a, in a chemical compound to attract pair of electron. So please note this has to be in a chemical compound and it is not constant. I can't say that electronegativity of fluorine is X. I can't say because it, it varies from compound to compound. It varies with which, what is the other atom with which this molecule is type. Right? It varies from, it varies. It is not a measurable quantity. It is only a relative number. But when we talk about electron gain enthalpy, this is nothing but energy required to uh, form or remove electron 
or sorry, add one electron to a atom to make it an ion. It can be positive or negative. This can be exothermic or endothermic, depending on whether electron is around. And a particular element will have a constant value of electron gain in time, and it can be measured experimentally. So this has a constant value. So I'm talking about oxygen. So oxygen will have a particular value of electron gain in time always. When you talk about electron gain today, you can't say the value of electron gain in time always is x because it varies. Whether it is linked to hydrogen or sulfur, based on the condition. So we have to explain the polar covalent bond. So if you see water, example of water, this guy will get slightly negative charge, slightly positive, slightly positive. Why? Because oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen. So since it gets a charge here i'm saying that this is a covalent bond but still it's polar it is not neutral so it's a polar covalent bond that's what it's saying most of the covalent bond has the ionic nature and vice versa so it's a polar covalent bond you do arrange the bond in increasing order of ionic character so ionic character is You know, say the ionic character is proportional to difference between electronegativity of molecules. Correct. So this is electronegativity. So the more the difference of electronegativity between these two atoms, the more ionic it is. Correct. So this in this case both are same nitrogen nitrogen it has least ionic character then it comes SO two then comes ClF three then comes K two O and the maximum is LiF because in this case the difference between lithium and uh, fluorine electronegativity is huge so more is the difference in electronegativity of the atoms in the molecules more ionic the molecule will be. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.